Uh, rabbits in general are like cats. They first of all can be litter box trained, which is a huge help, of course, in the house. And they also, for the most part, are most active early morning while you're getting ready for work and school. And then they usually sleep during the day. Um, obviously they move around a little bit and get some food and water throughout the day, but for the most part they're pretty mellow. And then they usually get active again around 4 o'clock to early evening, right when you get home from work, which is great because you can come in and sit down with them and just relax and forget about everything at work that happened. And they really help calm you down and get your heart rate back to normal and they're great stress relievers. They're nice and quiet, obviously. You don't have to take them out in the rain to go potty like you do your dogs. And as we said before, they can be litter box trained. They're very neat and tidy. You can set up all sorts of um, enclosures for them. Some people convert closets that they don't use or an extra bathroom. And certainly here at the Marin Humane Society, we can give you lots of tips on how to set up their enclosures. They do make great family pets, but it's very important to keep in mind that, again, they live about 10 to 12 years. That's a huge commitment. That's as long as a dog or a cat. So if you're getting it just, for instance, with your chi children in mind, what you want, really want to think about is, you know, in a few years, are the kids still going to be interested in the rabbit? Are they going to be around? Maybe they're going into high school where they'll have lots of after-school activities. Maybe they'll have a lot more friends and they just don't want to take care of the rabbit. We see that a lot at the shelter. A lot of rabbits are brought in because the kids are no longer caring for it. And of course, mom and dad are too busy or aren't that interested in it. So it's really important to think about, is this the appropriate pet for our whole family? If the whole family is in agreement and really loves the rabbit, it should be fine. But again, it, it is a big commitment. We get rabbits here from um, families mostly. We do get a lot of stray rabbits brought in, but the majority that are surrendered by families, usually most of the rabbits have come from pet stores. And what happens is they usually buy them for their children. They haven't done any research on rabbits and they think that they're these cute little things that can just live in a cage. Well, what happens is that as the rabbits get to be adolescent teenagers, about four to five months, they start to get pretty rambunctious. The females can sometimes get a little territorial. They can start to lunge a little bit. Sometimes they'll growl. Um, sometimes the rabbits will start to nip. And so what happens is that the family's decided it's a mean rabbit and they don't want it anymore. But really, all the rabbit needs is to be spayed or neutered. And once that happens, the rabbits, when they're teenagers and they get spayed or neutered, calm down considerably. It's quite common for our rabbits, unfortunately, to be here anywhere from six months, sometimes up to a year, um, for adoptions. So we're trying to encourage people to come here and adopt instead of going to pet stores or to breeders and um, all of our rabbits are already spayed and neutered, they're microchipped, we know about their personalities so we can match them up with the appropriate family. At the Marin Humane Society we always have rabbits that are needing homes. Unfortunately throughout the whole Bay Area every shelter has rabbits that need homes. A lot of shelters across the country don't even put them up for adoption but we, we have chosen to do that because they can make great family pets. And we average about 15 to 16 animal, or 15 to 16 rabbits um, available for adoption at any time. Again, if we get a lot of adoptions, we will call Save a Bunny and ask them to bring us some more. They work with shelters throughout the whole Bay Area who are overloaded and unfortunately have to euthanize them on a daily basis. So we really encourage people to come and adopt rabbits or any other small animals. We um, always have hamsters, guinea pigs, birds, snakes, everything you could probably want, we have here. And I'd say we probably, I'd say 90% of the rabbits that come here or other small animals originated from pet stores. So we really encourage people to come here first and adopt. And, and try not to go to a pet store unless there's something really specific. But at Marin Humane Society, if we don't have it, we can probably find it for you. There are so many rescue groups out there working with every type of animal that you can usually get one through a rescue group or another shelter.